History happened here. Two-minute tales from the archives of the Historical Society of Pottawatomie County. The school district had at one point kind of an idea of having this educational campus, if you will. It was like six acres of property up there. And the first project they built up there was the high school building, which was opened in 1870, I believe, mid great fanfare. The governor came, you know, the state superintendent of instruction came, and where that building sat was on the high school avenue side of the site, but it sat up quite a bit higher than Kern Field is now. I counted, looking at a picture one time, 60-some steps. If you walk up the steps there today, there's 40-some. They had taken off 35 feet of that hill to build the high school, and you could still see in pictures of it, there's still, you know, a clay bank behind it. Reports indicate that it was a four classrooms. When they say it had four classrooms, I think that's wrong. I think it had three on each floor. Plus it had this chapel assembly room up in the mansard roof part. They had a laboratory in the basement. So it probably had nine instructional spaces. The high school used four of them. They didn't use much of the facility and they used it kind of as a neighborhood elementary school as well. So it really didn't serve as a high school for much of its life. It was harder than hell to get to. A high school was kind of a, a marker. It was an unusual thing in 1870. It was a sign that a community was advancing, that you were on the cutting edge of whatnot, had this commanding prominence. If you're on the Omaha side of the river and you're looking towards Council Bluffs, you see only one man-made structure sticking up, and that's the Council Bluffs High School. This thing just kind of presides over the city, so I think it reflects the Chamber of Commerce sense that, you know, Council Bluffs is big enough to support a high school, and by God, we put it right up there where you can see it. The interesting thing about it is, is that originally there was no access off of Fifth Avenue. So the only access to that property was up that steep high school avenue. There had been some sort of an athletic facility up there way, way, way before 1937 when Kern Field was dedicated. The old building was torn down and the ruins of it were kind of still there in the 1900s. There still would have been that bank behind it. Uh, but the original name of Abraham Lincoln High School's athletic teams was the Hilltoppers. And you'll see pictures in the 1920s annuals that has been scooped off and leveled off and made into a just a big flat spot up there. There's no stadium, There's it's just a big flat spot, but they did have athletic events still taking place up there after they removed the dirt, and they removed the dirt by getting access onto Fifth Avenue. Gerald Kern told me that the way that they acquired the property, they traded some school district property to people who lived on Fifth Avenue. If they wanted to have their backyards come back a few feet, if they would move their property line on the side of their houses a few feet so they could squish that little alley to get in up there because that was the only way at that point that you could have gotten up there with equipment to flatten that out. So the stadium and the football field was improved and made into Kern Field in the 1930s. But they had been playing football and, and stuff up there prior to that. History is never truly lost until it's forgotten. And preserving that history is our mission. The Historical Society of Pottawatomie County in Council Bluffs, Iowa.